Okay, second attempt to do a video on the Ulu knife. Uh, what I done before when I did video one of the Ulu knife, I forgot and left uh, Mr. Lamar's music playing, and I don't think he'd appreciate me putting his music probably on my on my video. I don't know, but I, I didn't want to take a chance, so I deleted the other video that I was talking about this here. Not that I don't enjoy his music, I do. It, it sounds good. Uh, <clears throat> pretty much, I like the homesteader and the stuff that he puts out up there. But uh, anyway, I thought I would uh, share this Ulu knife project that I just made today. It took me the better part of the day cutting this out to make an Ulu knife similar to an Ulu knife. It's not exactly. I made a few changes because, well, you, the handle, for instance, I doubled the handle with plywood. As you can see, I cut this out. It was very hard without, a, without the proper tools. I just had to cut with a skill saw here, drill it out here, and then cut it out, you know, with, uh, with a, um, uh, what can we call them, saw, reciprocal saw on part of it, and with a knife and everything I could do to whittle that out. But I'm going to change this plyboard handle later on. But what I did different from what some people cut it out, I cut mine out with two uh, tips of, of, of steel comes up here out of that blade and I left a long strip across here for reinforcement and then I cut this angle here out and this angle here out. And it's very sharp. It'll, I mean it'll cut the thunder out of you. But I didn't do a very good cutout pattern on the woodwork. It's just a quick throw together thing. But I'm not finished yet. But what I was thinking about the next time I'll make it a little wider so you can get your hand in there a little better. It's it's pretty good this way, uh, up and down, but it's the um, but my knuckles are so big they won't go through there. But that may be as far as I want to go anyway, and you can scrape with it. Like I say, you could scrape you could scrape hides, you know, cleaning the fat off of a hide that you like a deer hide or any game hide or cow hide. And this here would probably flat skin the meat. No problem. You can skin the hide right out real easy. Just pull that and as thin sharp as these blades are. I mean, the only thing I didn't like about this, uh, the handle's a little bit long here on each end. I, I would have liked to have made it down a little smaller yet on the ends. And like I say, I'm going to change out this here. Part, and I'll be right back. I want you to see the other half of the blade that I still got left that I could make another one. Um, just a second. Alright, I'm on the way. Just trying to get the salt dust off everything. But anyway, like I say, I got a whole nother half to this saw blade, folks, that, the other half, and I could make another one, you know, another Ulu knife similar to the Ulu. It's not exactly, no, I made uh, a change on mine because I wanted a handle that I could put my thumb up here if I wanted to or grip it down here either way, and this, you can skin down a back leg or whatever probably pretty easy I've never tried it but I think you can I think it would uh, just split right down from around the legs and stuff and split down the hide down to his hind quarters there and uh, of course uh, it would probably skin pretty good I don't know about gutting anything with this or not I imagine it would but uh, I didn't get enough of a, a cut angle here on this point I would have liked it to come out just a little farther than this one uh, for uh, like for gutting and skinning you got a where you have a little more of a point out here but I didn't have that and I'm used to my knives and this is different from what I'm used to so I'm not sure if I've got the Ulu knife made any you know exactly like the Ulu, Ulu knife I was just looking off the internet and, and, and doing the best I could without measurements it makes it the devil's own work but I guess it was probably all different size bone knives I'm sure but see I made bone knives when I was a kid we, we used uh, bones and stuff out of deer and 
stuff like that sometimes for cutting with when we didn't have no steel. And it's a lot better when you got steel though, where you can skin game or whatever. That that edge is razor sharp. It's surrogated. You see how it's got a a, a surrogated edge on both sides. It kind of weaves. That's made for meat deli slicing. So you know it'll cut. <laughs> but the next time that I do this one, I imagine I'll do it a little different. I just uh, I could have, uh, if I'd have left more metal on this on one half and forgot about making two out of it, I probably could have got, you know, a little more of a handle up here and that would have gave me a little more extended extension on the blade out instead of being so close there to the handle. But that may be just fine. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried skin nothing with it, you know. Uh, but. I don't know uh, how to skin. I've never tried to skin with this type of knife. It's it's going to take some getting used to. Like I say, I've never used them, but they seem like they're going. Seems like a pretty good uh, pattern that the uh, Alaskans natives came up with. Um, but like I say, I still got this other half, and I'm going to see if I can do a better job on the second half than what I did the first half. See the problem is right here you can you can get two fingers through here through here probably okay but you you're gonna you, you still got to put your out the other two fingers on the outside and I didn't care for that style I, I preferred something where I could put my hand together like this all four fingers in I'm sorry all four fingers inside the ulu knife handle is why I made my handle this way, each to their own, but this was the style I came up with and it's kind of ugly too at the po at this point on the handle and the pattern could have been cut out a little bit better. On this next one I will uh, see I've got a, a little bit different thing to go by here now i got a pattern now that's somewhat to go by I didn't have nothing when I started except just eyeball guessing like always I just eyeball out a thing and make it work and it ain't always pretty as I would like is the only difference that I do get you know a little agitated about because it ain't ain't what I want. Now let's see this next one um, something like that right there but except that uh, I'll have to cut my pattern out again you know where it's uh, we're down here so that the so that we can cut out an angle on each corner where we have a pretty decent knife. But I, I'm gonna be getting some oak wood here in a day or two if it stay dry. If it don't rain tomorrow, I'm going after probably two rick of wood. I got to work up. So I got my day laid out for me. Uh, and if I do get some good oak, uh, I'll let it cure and see. What, it may be some dry wood in it. I don't know. It was pretty dead. It was blowed over maybe dead enough that I can make handles out of some of the tree parts of the big, larger tree limbs or split me out a handle out of some of it and I can put an oak handle on here uh oh that's got a burr on it I might watch it but anyway uh, well if I can get some oak handles made they're sure a lot better than this old ply board all I had to work with this evening was this old cheap ply board and it split out on me in a couple of places in fact, it snapped it right in two right there. But I've got it re still yet reinforced in the steel here and here, and it's got a screw in the, in a center hole here on the inside, in the one side or the other of this plyboard. But I don't like plyboard because if you go to chopping with it a lot, it it's probably going to split all to pieces. And plyboard plywood just ain't that good for handle making. I just put that on there temporarily to get me an idea. Of what I'd like, how I would like it to fit. Now, I imagine I'll go with just a little what more meat next time, wider, so that I can get my knuckles through there and wrap your hand around the back. But it's not too bad the way it is. But you may want to, may want to do different things with it, you know, on different angles. It just feels like see my catch is on my biggest knuckle right there, and I'd like to be able to get my. Well, that may be as far as you need to get in there.